Good afternoon, everyone. For those of you who don't know, my name is Maya Karen. I run a fashion blog called Classically Kept. It does feature luxury, contemporary, and how-to style. So if you are into that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to this channel and the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video. So one of the things for me that's kind of synonymous with transitional clothing, especially when it comes from fall to spring, is a button down or a classic collared shirt. Now, y'all know I have been waiting for this particular button down from J. Crew, I would say probably for about a month now. So I thought, since we are transitioning into spring, I thought we would take that collared shirt and just kind of up it a little bit, just kind of give it a little bit of zhuzh. And I'm going to show you 10 outfits just to give you a little bit of inspiration with your classic button-down shirt. Now, I'm assuming the reason why this particular button down was on back order is number one, because it was slim fit, and then number two, y'all know my obsession is voluminous sleeves. So you have this right here, and you can see right here that it does come in a little bit, but the sleeves is really what I think makes the shirt and the reason why I bought it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so really quickly, I just wanted to show you the shirt without styling, just to show you for fit. So I got a size two, and I'm glad that I did because it's slightly big, but whenever I wash J. Crew stuff, especially when it's all cotton, it does shrink. So I think once I wash it, this will fit perfectly. But like I said, it's just your classic button down. They do have their slim fit, and then you have your voluminous sleeves. Front, side, back. Okay, so outfit one, we are going to start with something very classic, a pencil skirt, but in sweater material, especially when it comes to fall and transitional, and really when fall and winter, I love anything sweater material. So we have the shirt, and then we have my beautiful pearl earrings from Majori, and then we have this belt, it's silver, I got it from the thrift store, and then I have my Express sweater sh or sweater skirt and then we're going to do these Steve Madden's I feel as though that since we have this silver right here I think that these shoes will pick up really well and then if you know me or when I started my channel I was obsessed with the Colt Gaia EOS box so we have this right here so let's go ahead and put all this together and see what it looks like number two so let's start with the earrings y'all know I love a good statement so this outfit is actually all J crew except the shoes so starting out with these earrings my newest statement piece love these and of course we have the shirt so I'm thinking for this more so like a mini skirt and it's gonna be green with pockets in the front so let me go ahead and back up Okay, and I'm thinking for shoes, I am thinking my tan and black Zara shoes. So, it's going to be these right here because these are a neutral. And you know, y'all know I love these, even though they're a kitten heel. And then, of course, for a purse, my all-time favorite, Anima Iris, black, like this. So, let's go ahead and put it on and see. And really, this can be changed out with, what else, but another one. So I'm thinking this one, because it will match with the shoes. Let me know what y'all think. Okay, so the third outfit, starting with the earrings, of course. Y'all know I call this Christmas on an ear for these earrings. These And this outfit actually is J. Crew from head to toe, even including the shoes. So you have the earrings, of course you have the shirt, and then I'm going to back up so you can see. It's uh, my little mini skirt that has ruffles on it, kind of like a hound's tooth. But I love these as well. So let's go ahead and put this together. Okay, number four. I love these earrings. Of course, they're from J. Crew. 
And I'm going to call this my senorita outfit and you'll see when I back up. I love this skirt. It is from Zara. It was originally on back order. And of course, I put my email in for the notification and then it came and I love it. I've been trying to wear it different ways ever since. I actually wore this with a t-shirt and it looked just as chic. But yes, I love this look. And then you have the classic black shoes and the black top handle. Okay, so this look is going to be for my ladies who love color. You can see my multicolored earrings. And then I'm going to have on a bright blue skirt. So I'm going to wear my nude shoes. So this look is going to be, I guess you would say, a little bit more casual, not really. It would be more of like a transitional day that's really chilly. So kind of like more on the fall side. So like the sun is out, but it's still a little chilly. So of course we have the shirt and then we have one of my favorite statement earrings from J. Crew, of course. And then we have on a maxi skirt. So I will go ahead and back up so you can see. Okay, so if you are never sure or not sure what to wear with your college shirt, two things. Number one, pearls. They will always be classic. They will always keep your look very classic. So you see I have mine right here. And then also a pencil skirt that's black. But let me say this, a tip. If you don't know what you're going to wear and you think, okay, black. If you typically, when you wear black and white together, it can be kind of uniformy. So to combat that on the bottom, if you do choose black, try a print. So let me go ahead and show you. I have shown you all skirts another thing that you can do like I said I feel as though that the button-up especially white is synonymous with transitional pieces another thing that you can do is let's say for instance you have a dress a sleeveless dress that you're not necessarily ready to throw to pull out by itself or that you're not necessarily ready to get rid of as far as summer is concerned what can you do you can put a collar shirt under it so I have this one, this is my Chanel inspired from Zara. And then of course, you know, I have my Anima Iris and then I have on a black shoes and then I have on a belt. So let's go ahead and back up to get the full effect. So the second example of this that I have for you guys is just a sleeveless sweater dress. Y'all know I love sweater dresses, but again, to get creative with your closet and kind of shop your closet, I just threw one on over. So we're going to take the sweater dress, we also have on a belt, and then you can add whatever type of bag you want. And then of course y'all know I have on heels. So let's go ahead and back up. Okay, so these last 
two looks are not going to be for everybody. They're going to be more for my high street gals, the ones who actually play in the closet, the ones who like to experiment, the ones who like to play with layering. So as you can see, I have on the shirt, and then you see I have on a shoulder or a one shoulder shirt. It's actually a maxi dress. So I'm just going to kind of back up and show you what I'm referring to. final look like I said before it's not going to be for everybody but it's just basically taking a favorite summer dress or a summer dress that is sleeveless and putting it right over the top now if you can already see and you've been watching my channel y'all know that I am obsessed with this dress and I was trying to find another way to wear it and I'm kind of feeling it it's kind of feel like a prairie-esque sheep type kind of like prairie chic so let me go ahead and back up and see what y'all think that is it those are my 10 outfits just to kind of give you a little inspiration just to put a little oomph in your outfit when it comes to just a classic collared shirt i just want to remind you here on youtube i upload videos every wednesday and sunday and then of course you know right here i'll put my instagram handle thank you so much for watching you guys bye